you worked so hard, you put in your time, and now you are thinking of retirement. Finally, it's time to reap the reward. Congratulations. The question is, where will you go? Are you going abroad, maybe Mexico, Puerto Rico, Spain, Bali, or the Philippines? There are so many amazing places in the world to spend your newfound free time. And now you've realized that there is no better place to live your golden years but the United States. How do you narrow it down to just one? You could scour the internet for the next couple of years or just keep watching this video to learn the best place for you to retire. Hi there, this is Lynn Alvarez, a broker and realtor with the Alley Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. If this is your first time on our channel, please like this video and subscribe below. This will inspire me to create new videos for my audience. Thank you so much. In this video, I will be talking about what most people are looking for when they retire. Is it the quality of life, cost of living, comfortable climate, housing costs, healthcare, taxes, property taxes, no state income tax, no estate tax, close of transportation, or available entertainment? And then at the end of this video, I will tell you the best place for your retirement years. Sooner or later, my husband and I will be thinking of retiring. So we have come up with the things that we would be looking for as we would have plenty of time for ourselves. The number one thing on our list is the quality of life. Of course, we would consider other factors, but let's be honest. The number one thing is lifestyle so we can enjoy our time together. We have been working so hard, so this is the time going to countless activities such as visiting parks and museums, meeting friends and neighbors for lunch or dinner, traveling and engaging in healthy activities to keep us physically and mentally fit. I've searched the internet to find out that different media have their own top 100 states to retire, best cities to retire, top 25 cities in the US to retire, what are the best cities for retirement, and so forth and so on. US News, Fortune Magazine, Forbes.com, Bankrates.com, CBSNews.com, TheHill.com, Nesh.com, and many other publications. Based on my own research online, whether it is Mr. Google or his brother YouTube, here is a list of my best places to retire in the United States with awesome 55 plus communities. Studies done by different publications use different metrics such as cost of living, quality of life, healthcare, weather, and home prices. Quality of life is a measure of comfort, health, and happiness by a person or a group of people. Quality of life is determined by both material factors such as income and housing, and broader considerations like health, education, and freedom. So here are the best places in my list to retire in the United States with awesome 55 plus communities. Texas. This Lone Star State is the second largest U.S. state by both area after Alaska and population after California. It is such a big state. No wonder it has 369 hospitals. The source is American Hospital Directory. Texas has no personal income tax and no asset tax or inheritance tax. According to World Population Review, Texas ranks number 31 for quality of life, number 34 for education, and number 9 for economy ranking in the country. That's a thriving economy. Cost of living is 92.1, a little under the national level. Texas has a humid tropical climate with long hot summers and mild winters. The best 55 plus community is in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is a major city in South Central Texas with rich colonial heritage. The Alamo, an 18th century Spanish mission preserved as a museum, marks the infamous 1836 battle for Texan independence from Mexico. 
Hill Country Retreat is an active adult community by Del Webb and Village Builders located in Texas Hill Country in historic San Antonio. This 55 and over community boasts a large clubhouse filled with top caliber amenities. It will be home to over 1,900 luxuriously appointed single family homes. Hill Country Retreat provides residents with a tranquil setting. This beautiful area of San Antonio boasts amazing views of wildlife meandering through the lush and natural landscaping of the hills. Home prices here range from the low 300s to the mid 500s. I know several realtors in this area, so contact me so I'll make sure you are in good hands. Tennessee. Tennessee earned a volunteer state nickname because of Tennesseans' eagerness to step forward to serve in times of war. Tennessee has no personal income tax and no estate tax or inheritance tax. According to World Population Review, Tennessee ranks number 29 for quality of life, number 33 for education, and number 16 for economy ranking in the country. Cost of living is 89, way below the national level. There are 96 hospitals in Tennessee. Tennessee has a generally mild climate year-round but still enjoys four distinct seasons. The average high temperature in winter is 49 degrees Fahrenheit and the average low is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summer, the average high temperature is 89 degrees Fahrenheit and the average low is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. The 55 plus or active adult community that you may want to check out is in Mount Juliet located just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. It is called Del Webb at Lake Providence. This gated community offers a resort lifestyle with over 1,000 homes centered around a large clubhouse overlooking a 15-acre lake. Residents here enjoy a multitude of clubs and an on-site lifestyle director. The surrounding area allows members of the community to easily explore everything the Nashville area has to offer. Home prices are from the high 300s to the mid 700s. If you are interested in checking out this place in Tennessee, contact me as I have many colleagues that I can refer you to. Colorado, the Centennial State or Colorful Colorado presumably because of their magnificent scenery of mountains, rivers, and plains. According to World Population Review, Colorado ranks number 16 for quality of life, number 5 for education, and number 2 for economy ranking in the country. That's really a very strong economy. Cost of living is 105.3 above the national level, but it's offset by the state's economy. There are 59 hospitals in Colorado. It has a state income tax, but no estate tax or inheritance tax. Colorado's position far inland and great distance from any large bodies of water results in a usually dry climate. Colorado typically has hot summers and cold winters with relatively large temperature differences throughout each day. Colorado receives the fourth highest amount of snowfall annually in the country, which is good considering the state is known for its skiing. Bring your mountain skiing gear. Now let's talk about the 55 plus community in Thornton, Colorado. Heritage Todd Creek is a master plan community of new homes for sale exclusively for active adults aged 55 and better in Thornton, Colorado. Homeowners can enjoy an abundance of amenities including a championship golf course, resort style clubhouse, tennis courts, a fitness center, billiards room, craft room, and more. Residents can explore 25 major parks across the Thornton area, plus downtown Denver is 10 miles away for more entertainment and exploration. There are 989 home sites ranging from the mid-500s to the 900s. This is a great opportunity to buy a new construction home from Lennar Homes. Call me to connect with a realtor in Thornton, Colorado. Utah, the Beehive State. For the people of Utah, the Beehive symbolizes the Utah community as each person in Utah works together to support and help one another and to create a successful industry. 
According to World Population Review, Utah ranks number three for quality of life, number 10 for education, and number one for economy in the country. Wow, what a great state economy. So why is Utah so successful? Utah's economy is booming thanks to a combination of strong employment growth, a vibrant tech industry, and collaboration between business, labor, and government. Cost of living in Utah is 99, which is close to the national level. There are 36 hospitals in Utah. It has a state income tax, but no estate tax or inheritance tax. In Utah, summers are hot, frequently reaching above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, while winters are cold and snowy. So make sure you have the appropriate wardrobe when you visit Utah. St. George is located slightly southwest of Salt Lake City, a four and a half hour drive. Sun River St. George is a 55 plus community located on the outskirts of scenic St. George, the largest town in Southern Utah. This Mountain View community offers single family homes and numerous amenities, as well as dozens of activities. Residents of Sun River at St. George enjoy the 18 hole championship golf course, a state of the art fitness center, beautiful swimming pools, outdoor sport courts, walking paths, and much more. The mild temperatures and natural beauty of the surrounding area makes Sun River St. George a popular destination for active home buyers. There are 2,300 homes and some are currently listed from the high 500s to the low 900s. Contact me if you're interested to connect with a real estate agent there. Nevada, the Silver State or Sagebrush State. Nevada's nickname dates back to 1859 when silver was first discovered in the state, which later led to a migration boom that took over the region. According to World Population Review, Nevada ranks number 37 for quality of life, number 40 for education, and number 6 for economy ranking in the country. Having tons of casinos in Nevada for sure helps the economy. People all over the world come to Nevada to try their luck in gambling and for numerous entertainment. Cost of living is 106.3, higher than the national level. There are 31 hospitals in Nevada. It has no state income tax and no estate tax or inheritance tax. In Nevada, the summers are dry and hot over 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are short, cold, dry, and once in a while snows near the mountain ranges and Sierra Nevada. There are many active adult or 55 plus communities in Nevada, but today I will tell you about this community in Summerlin, west of Las Vegas, and a short 12 minute drive. Siena is a premier 55 plus community offering a lifestyle for active adults in Las Vegas. It is a guard gated community with armed security personnel on site 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Its Schmidt Curly designed 18 hole championship Siena Golf Course is surrounded by beautiful lakes. It has amazing amenities such as the 39,000 square foot community center, fitness center, indoor lap pool, billiard pools, tennis courts, pickleball courts, many clubs and classes, including ceramics. Siena has a bistro restaurant and a full service spa. There are over 2,000 homes at Siena, and homes currently for sale ranges from the high 500s to $1.5 million. Interested in Siena in Summerlin, Nevada? Call me and I will connect you to a real estate agent there. Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Arizona is also known as the Copper State, revealing its abundance in this mineral. According to World Population Review, Arizona ranks number 39 for quality of life, number 46 for education, and number 7 for economy ranking in the country. Cost of living is 103.2, slightly higher than the national level. There are 76 hospitals in Arizona. It has state income tax but no estate tax or inheritance tax. The summers in Arizona are sweltering and dry. The winters are cool and it is mostly clear year-round. Over the course of the year, the temperature typically varies from 45 degrees Fahrenheit to 107 degrees Fahrenheit and is rarely below 37 degrees Fahrenheit or above 112 degrees Fahrenheit. 
If you are tired of shoveling snow, this is the place for you, but be prepared for the really hot summers here. The adult or 55 plus communities that I will be discussing with you today is in Peoria, Arizona. Trilogy at Vistancia caters to active adults who want to enrich their lifestyles. This resort style active adult community in Peoria, Arizona features all single story Shea homes. Trilogy at Vistancia has two resort clubs, Kiva and Mita clubs, featuring athletic clubs, fitness facilities, aerobic studio, indoor Olympic style pool, outdoor resort pool, golf course, and Alvia Spa Salon and Wellness Center. The Gary Pang's Design Trilogy Golf Course at Trilogy at Vistancia is a 7,300 yard 18 hole championship daily fee course and practice facility. In 2005, Vistancia was awarded the best master plan community in the country by the National Association of Home Builders. There are about 3,300 homes and some are for sale currently from the low 400s to $1.5 million. There's still an opportunity for you to buy a new construction home. Contact me to connect you with my colleagues there. Georgia, the Peach State and the Goober State are two of Georgia's best known nicknames. Goober is an old word for peanut, which is also the official state crop of Georgia. According to World Population Review, Georgia ranks number 18 for quality of life, number 26 for education, and number 12 for economy ranking in the country. Cost of living is 88.8, .8, way below the national level. There are 112 hospitals in Georgia. It has a state income tax, but no estate tax or inheritance tax. The climate of Georgia is a humid, subtropical climate with most of the state having short, mild winters and long hot summers. Georgia is the sixth state in the U.S. to receive the least snow. Carswin at Lake Lanier is located in the historic city of Gainesville, Georgia, just 45 minutes northeast of Atlanta. This premier gated community sits alongside 251 acres of preserved green space and when completed will have 934 ranch-style homes. Bordered by the foothills of the Northeast Georgia Mountains and picturesque Lake Lanier, the Crestwin at Lake Lanier Clubhouse spans three floors with an indoor pool and spa, fitness center, and grand ballroom. Residents can meet friends for billiards, take a cooking class in a demonstration kitchen, or enjoy a game of pickleball on one of the 17 pickleball courts. Homes currently for sale range from the high 400s to the high 800s. You know, we also have two Crestwin communities in the Charlotte area. I will connect you to a realtor at Crestwin at Lake Lanier if Georgia is on your mind. Idaho. Idaho's official nickname is the Gem State for its abundance of gems that are found in the state. Idaho is well known for its potatoes, trout, and precious stones, and it is for its unspoiled, rugged landscapes. The summers are short, hot, dry, and mostly clear, and the winters are very cold, snowy, and partly cloudy. Winters in Idaho can be harsh with an average of 292 days per year below freezing and a record low of negative 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Idaho ranks number five for quality of life, number 29 for education, and number three for economy ranking in the country. Why is Idaho's economy booming? Important industries in Idaho are food processing, lumber and wood products, machinery, chemical products, paper products, electronics manufacturing, silver and other mining, and tourism. However, cost of living in Idaho is 102.1, slightly higher than the national level. There are 18 hospitals in Idaho. It has state income tax, but no estate tax or inheritance tax. There's a new active adult or 55 plus community in Kuna, Idaho, 19 miles southeast of Boise. This is a resort style gated community by Shea Homes and will be building 970 
ranch-style homes. Price ranges from the low 400s to the high 600s. Residents of Trilogy Valor will have access to a clubhouse with a fitness center, culinary studio, and cafe. For outdoors, members of the community will be able to take advantage of bocce ball courts, pickleball courts, and event space. The community will also feature Falcon Crest, a 36-hole championship golf course. If you are interested in moving into a Shea Homes community, give me a call. I will connect you with my friends in Boise, Idaho. South Carolina, the Palmetto State. The state probably got its nickname, the Palmetto State, during the Revolutionary War. Colonists at Fort Moultrie, a small fort built from the wood of Palmetto trees, defeated a British fleet near Charleston in 1776. According to World Population Review, South Carolina ranks number 42 for quality of life, number 44 for education, and number 18 for economy ranking in the country. Cost of living is 92.6 below the national level. There are 67 hospitals in South Carolina. It has a state income tax but no estate tax or inheritance tax. South Carolina has a humid subtropical climate with hot summers throughout most of the state. It has four distinct seasons, and yes, it snows in South Carolina, but minimal. Coastal South Carolina is one of the most vulnerable states in the nation to be impacted by hurricanes and tropical storms. Sun City Hilton Head is the largest age-restricted community in South Carolina. The community is home to over 8,000 homes, world-class amenities, and 54 holes of golf. At Sun City Hilton Head, you can enjoy active adult living in one of South Carolina's most popular resort destinations. It is located in the city of Bluffton, 15 minutes west of Hilton Head Island. The community has 14 hard true tennis courts, a softball field, pickleball, and bocce ball courts. There is also a dog park and outdoor party pavilion. There are three 18-hole golf courses, two of which are championship courses. Homes for sale at Sun City Hilton Head starts from the mid-300s to the low-900s. We have real estate colleagues in South Carolina if you want to connect with them. Florida, it is called the Sunshine State due to its location as the closest U.S. state to the Tropic of Cancer and the Equator. Florida is renowned for its exceptionally sunny but humid tropical climate. Florida ranks number 10 for quality of life, number 3 for education, and number 8 for economy ranking in the country. What drives Florida's economy? Florida is jam-packed with all kinds of attractions and fun adventures. Millions of tourists from the U.S. and other countries flock the state for fun and relaxation, making tourism a trademark aspect of the economy. The cost of living in Florida is 100.3, almost the same as the national level. There are 221 hospitals in Florida. It has no state income tax and no estate tax or inheritance tax. Florida is the country's destination for retirement, so it's just fitting to talk about two active adult and 55 plus communities. Top of the world in Ocala, Florida, is a scenic 55 plus community in the heart of Central Florida, which is 80 miles northwest of Orlando. The planned 10,000 homes make the community one of the largest in the state. This community has several facilities that include amenities such as the three golf courses, several clubhouses, fitness centers, swimming pools, tennis and pickleball courts, two restaurants, recreation center and hobby building, arbor club and conference center. On top of the world, Ocala started in the early 1980s and homes currently for sale range from the low 200s to the high 500s. Want to know the largest retirement community in the U.S. and in the world? The Villages is located in the heart of Central Florida, 80 miles north of Tampa and southeast of Orlando. It's a 55-plus community made up of over 80 villages 
and over 130,000 residents and growing. The village of Florida spans three counties, three zip codes, and over 20,000 acres. The entire community is connected by over 100 miles of golf cart legal streets and trails. Villages is an entirely self-sustaining town complete with retail establishments, restaurants, banks, post offices, healthcare centers, and countless recreational amenities. People travel by golf carts estimated at 60,000. There are 55 golf courses in this community tons of amenities and almost 3,000 social clubs led by residents. There are a couple of large healthcare and medical facilities in the villages. The villages features a wide selection of home styles in 70,000 homes across the expansive community. Homes for sale ranges from the mid 200s to the high 900s. North Carolina, the Tar Heel State is the 28th largest and 9th most populous of the United States. North Carolina earned a state beauty score of 6.26, placing it in 9th place, just behind Colorado, which scored 6.36. Its beauty has a lot to offer tourists and residents alike with its beautiful mountains, waterfalls, and beautiful beaches stretch along a 300-mile coast. North Carolina ranks number 13 for quality of life, number 7 for education, and number 17 for economy ranking in the country. The cost of living in North Carolina is 95.7, lower than the national average. North Carolina has 110 hospitals. It has a state income tax, but no estate tax or inheritance tax. The biggest city in North Carolina is Charlotte. It has four distinct seasons, and it's not too hot nor too cold. The Charlotte area has never experienced extreme weather conditions and has not had any major calamities here. There are more than 180 active adult communities in North Carolina, but today I will be focusing in Charlotte, the largest city and the banking hub of the state. Today, Charlotte is the second largest financial industry city in the United States after New York. There are more than 50 active adult or 55 plus communities in Greater Charlotte, older and newer ones. If you are looking for a resource style active adult community, I recommend you visit Trilogy Lake Norman which will have 1150 homes when complete. It has a 30,000 square foot twin mills club that houses the indoor amenities, the foundry restaurant, and bar. Residents enjoy the billiard pools, demonstration kitchen, large ballroom, card rooms, the Scopernone wine room, fitness center, indoor lap pool, and large gathering area. Outdoor amenities are large outdoor pool, four pickleball courts, two tennis courts, two bocce ball courts, art and pottery studio, amphitheater, walking and hiking trails, and membership to the Freedom Boat Club. These Shea homes start from the mid-400s to the high 900s. I've done some videos about Trilogy Lake Norman, so check it out. The second community I'd like to talk about is Imagery and Mountain Island Lake, the only waterfront community in the Charlotte area. There are 483 homes in this awesome community when complete. There is still a chance for you to buy a new construction home in this Lennar Homes community. However, most of them will be waterfront homes starting from the high 700s to over a million dollars. There are resale homes from time to time starting from the high 400s. We've done several videos about imagery, so check them out. See the description below for homes for sale in this waterfront 55 plus community located in Mount Holly that is only 20 minutes to Uptown Charlotte and Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Another great community is Regency at Palisades by Toll Brothers. Only a few home sites are available if you are looking for a new construction, but there are also several resales starting from the low 600s to the high 800s. Homes available for sale are in the description below. 
Another opportunity to build a new home is through the semi-custom builder Coulter Homes with two locations. One is Crestwind Charlotte and Crestwind Wesley Chapel. Homes in these communities are stunning with so many floor plans to choose from. We've done a lot of videos in these communities as well, so check them out. If you're thinking about retiring soon, these top 11 states are worth seeing. Make a list of what is really important to you and then take a trip out to experience a few of these places before you make a final decision. I know this is going to be tough, but at the same time, it will be exciting to discover these new places. What state do you think you will be interested in to visit? Please leave your comment below. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call at 704-975-2429 or visit our website at charlotteactiveadults.com. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Have a great day.